Hey guys, it's Carl. So we're hitting up another budget episode today. This is best Tekka under $200 for 2023. First time I'm tackling this uh, price range for the year. This will also be the first uh, giveaway of the year as well. I know that we had a pretty successful tech gift guide uh, from 2022 around Christmas. All of those giveaway items made it to their winners. So congrats to you guys. Exactly the same for this episode. Just be sure to comment down below. One comment only, do not fall for any of the YouTube spam. Follow me over on uh, Instagram, Twitter, my social media verified sites, that's where I'll be exchanging uh, info for shipping because uh, YouTube still really struggles with that. So we will get to the first item. It's actually one of the upgrades uh, coming to the studio. This is a cool audio solution by Anchor. These are the AnchorWork M650 wireless microphones, and I've been looking for a wireless mic solution for a while. So these come in right around that $200 price point, which is a lot more competitive compared to the ones from say Rode or even a DJI. These actually work with both your camera, which I have been doing uh, when I've been vlogging, and also uh, for your smartphone. So great for uh, any social media content creator, someone that just looks to uh, up their audio game. I've actually already tested out the white one, which you can see here, it comes in this pretty clean package and inside it comes with two separate microphones. So you can actually have two different people so I can hook myself up if I'm interviewing someone, if I've got a buddy on the vlog, both of us can get uh, our audio. And taking a look at the inside, this is where you charge the unit. You can actually see the four different indicator LED lights which will juice up your device. You'll get six hours of use and 15 in total with this uh, wireless charging device. It's almost like a larger version of wireless headphones in their little pill style case. And what's kind of nice, when you open up the pill case, they automatically fire on so the microphones are ready to go. It's pretty much instant plug and play from when I turn them on, they paired instantaneously. And you can see, you can kind of take them out of the package and you can clip them on to say your shirt. You can see the microphone grill on the top of the actual wireless receiver and that's the area where it needs to go. Obviously, uh, because I'm wearing black, this uh, white puck will stand out. And what's actually nice inside the box, they have different faceplate covers because I think uh, Anchor is thinking of you to match uh, your color combo. So they do come with extra color plates just to make sure that they're a bit uh, less conspicuous, more conspicuous. And from here, you can pair this with two different options mobily. So inside, they have these uh, two little dongle connectors. So one is Lightning, one USB-C, obviously iPhone versus uh, Android. You just need to line it up via the little plate at the bottom, turn to lock, and it kind of snaps into place. And if we quickly uh, bring over my iPhone, I can just connect this at the bottom. And this is now pretty much paired. So actually, if I uh, just hop into here, I'm just re gonna record uh, some video of myself. And right now, uh, this is a little audio test uh, using the uh, AnchorWorks uh, M650 microphone. It sounds half decent. I've already brought this into post, so I know. And I'm just going to quickly end this. And now recording uh, in body from the iPhone, you can kind of tell the difference between either the microphone versus um, what's in the body of the actual camera. So there's definitely a difference there, but the biggest difference I would say is obviously using a wireless mic. So Nick, I'm actually gonna get you to uh, hook this up to our A cam right now. It comes with this nice little aux cable and uh, if I can just pass this over to you, Nick. And now this is what the audio is sounding like with the M650. And remember, if you want to use the second little microphone inside, you can give that to a friend and it'll pick up both channels. So super, super dope. We'll quickly just unplug this now. And now this is what the audio sounds like in body of the camera. So definitely a huge difference. We're gonna switch to our actual legit uh, microphone, which is uh, off uh, camera now, just so you guys can get the different sense of the three different microphones. Obviously the microphone here, I think this thing is around like five, six hundred dollars plus we need an audio interface you can get a similar experience obviously you need to have that little clip on for around two hundred dollars so some awesome value i love the versatility that i can switch between for my mirrorless camera to say my mobile device and um yeah, I think it's a super solid option. Curious uh, if you would just get the white or black. I think that depends on uh, what color shirts that you tend to wear, but a super, super dope 
audio device. Okay, switching on over to the second item. This is the one that uh, I was really pumped to check out because it's a bit of a hack. I actually made this myself. So um, I've actually been on the hunt for some sort of a cross body bag to help carry my tech. Usually uh, my smartphone, my wallet, my passport, maybe a pair of headphones, my sunglasses. Uh, I tend to rock up backpacks, but I wanted something smaller. I have not been able to find a good cross body bag, uh, both uh, designer, which they tend to cost a ton of money, but I was kind of looking off, um, you know, with one of my tech packs and I've been using a Peak Design pack. This is specifically the tech pouch forever. It's the perfect size, but it didn't have a sling or a shoulder strap. And for whatever reason, it kind of clicked. I can actually use the Peak Design strap and use the little Peak Design at quick release plates to create my own little uh, fanny pack, cross body bag, whatever you wanna call it. And this has just been the perfect addition for me. So this is super dope because uh, this can hold so many different things. This is the tech pouch. So when you look inside, I've actually cut away the inside. So definitely more of a hack just to create more space. And because of all of that extra space with that cutout, I can even put my pair of uh, AirPod Maxes inside. I have a little magic mouse. I've got my phone. I've got another box. Watch how efficient this is. I'm going to try to close this on camera. Maybe I was a bit overzealous, but this thing will shut all of that inside. It holds its shape. And now I can actually just swing this over. And I love peak design straps a lot. And you can adjust this. I can easily access all of the tech inside right now. So say for example, I'm trying to swipe out to get my phone. This is the greatest little cross body bag hack um, I think I've created. I should probably patent this, uh, reach out to Peak Design that they should sell these on their own because I think it's super dope. And because it's super versatile, you can actually take this off completely with a little quick release system. And if you want, you could even swap this onto your camera and have different options to use this strap. So I think this is really handy. You can now stick this uh, into your tech travel bag. It's still light, it's still small, and still have the strap uh, on its own. So a nice little hack, $75 for the pouch. I think they charge around 60 to $70 for the strap, depending which size you get. And uh, for the combo, you can get a dope cross body bag fanny pack for under $200. So moving on to the next little DIY, I didn't create this one myself, but you can create them on Xbox Design Labs. This is the best controller on the market uh, by far. I know that uh, PlayStation just came out with their uh, Dual Sense Edge. This thing I think beats it in every way just for the customization. So going around, you can see the options. I went for a cleaner look, just hints of that orange. So on the little O-ring there, of course, the little uh, D-pad that you can uh, remove and swap out. And for the rest, just the white, the black, the little gunmetal triggers, and of course the rubberized black uh, grips. This controller feels so good in hand, so I've been crushing the uh, new Harry Potter game, uh, Hogwarts Legacy, using this controller. It's the first game that I played in 2023. I'm going through it slowly, just got sorted into a uh, Ravenclaw house. All you uh, Ravenclaws can uh, rejoice. I love using this controller. It is so comfortable. The feedback on it's nice and you can obviously swap out any of the control sticks for extra ones. The one thing I did forget, I wish I specced mine with a orange front, which I know you can do to kind of tie everything in, but um, that was my one little mistake. And if you're in the market for a custom controller, and of course I've got my favorite lettering, 1337, some leakness on the front. Dope controller, let me know how you uh, would spec yours out. So switching on over to wireless earbuds, I know the more popular ones are the uh, AirPod Pros and the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro, but if you are looking for a different option, these are the OnePlus Buds Pro 2. These just came out in conjunction with the new OnePlus 11. And if you're a fan of this colorway, so this was one of the better looking phones I've seen as so far this year. This green is super, super nice. If you want to color match with your headphones, this is technically called Arbor Green over on the OnePlus uh, Buds 2 Pro. It is literally the perfect match. And I think these look straight up dope. So these cost $179. They've got spatial audio. You can see the little silicone tips. So of course they're uh, active noise canceling. You get 39 hours of playback, of course, with the case included, and you can get eight hours with just uh, 10 minutes of charging. So super dope, they sound great uh, in ear, uh, slightly cheaper than the other two options that we just uh, looked at. And of course, if you are rocking the new OnePlus 11, I think uh, the match uh, makes it worthwhile. 
Next off on the list, uh, switching to uh, some Logitech stuff. So I know that the new Mac Mini, you can actually see one of them kicking uh, over my shoulder this way, just came out. That's the new M2 Mac Mini. Obviously with this guy, you need your own uh, keyboard mouse combo. I haven't done my full review for this yet, but I know a lot of you are asking which is the best uh, combo to get. Stay away from the the Apple stuff, to be honest, the Magic Mouse is a straight up trash. I don't know how Apple gets away still selling that. Logitech combo, so this is the Logitech MX Keys, under $200. I think you can get this entire combo for $229, so the keyboard, $129, the MX uh, Anywhere, or the MX Master 3S for Mac, Sorry, got my uh, lingo mixed up. This thing costs $99. So this is the perfect pairing, nice mechanical keyboard, and of course the MX Master, the best mouse, which I've plugged probably in every one of my videos, but I will continue to do so just because I love it. And I'm waiting for the MX Master 4 to drop, hopefully this year. This combo for the Mac Mini, for any computer that you have, is a must, I think, for around that $200 price range. So more from my friends at Logitech. This is their Lytra Beam. It's a pretty dope lighting setup for um, obviously your desk space. So this is really cool because it can articulate in kind of any different way. So you can get a nice uh, vertical option. And obviously because this stand can go up or down depending how high your monitor is. So typically this would live right behind your monitor and you would have the light come up right, um, I guess, on top of it. This is not only great for streaming setups, but I know most of us are still doing work from home. So if you want that good lighting on your face, this looks way cleaner than say a ring light. And it's uh, pretty easy. It's simple plug and play. One thing that I didn't like, it's USB-C to USB-A, but um, you can obviously switch that cable if you have a, a USB-C both end option. And now that I've got it uh, plugged in, it's got this really nice uh, rail system on the back for cable management, which is nice. You just simply need to power that on and it gives you this really nice soft light. And of course, on the back, you've got different control sticks. So you can, of course, make it brighter. You can change the color temperature from uh, cooler to warmer, depending on what you like. And for example, if this is now, oh, staring at this uh, intense light in front of me, staring at this, this will give you really nice light. So imagine your uh, little front facing camera here or your proper camera. If you are streaming, it gives you this really nice soft light and you can kind of position this in any way that you see fit. So a dope little light, obviously this comes in way under 200 bucks. This is actually closer to uh, $100, but thought I'd include it um, as some sort of budget tech because I'm um, just trying to save you guys some money. Next on the list, um, a smartphone. Tough to get for under $200, but the TCL 30 SE comes in, I think at around 150 bucks. So still saving some money. This is a phone that I would probably recommend as my primary device, but for $150, if you're just looking for a simple phone to make calls, travel for your kid's first phone, or even say for my parents that just need a device to uh, you know connect wherever they are, this is a perfect uh, secondary burner or even primary for like I said, some of those uh, age groups. Do you still get a 50 megapixel camera, 6.52 inch display, it isn't the best quality, 5,000 milliamp hour battery and 128 gigs of storage with four gigs of RAM. So it gets by, it won't be the quickest phone, but for $150 compared to a lot of the other tech, for example, that fanny pack is around $150, you have a fully functional smartphone. So tons of value still. Last but not least, um, technically not a legit piece of tech, but it's part of the home tech space. So I actually uh, got this one uh, from one of my friends. This is a little uh, diffuser that you can use. This is great for uh, people that just want a little essential oils diffuser, which you can insert into the actual diffuser itself. This little tray slides up and this is the diffuser area right here, which you can see I can actually just pull out uh, on my own. Essential oils just slot into here. And what's nice, this diffuser doesn't need any uh, extra water to run. So you won't actually see any uh, steam or vapor rising from it, but it does slowly release the nice uh, fumes of that essential oil to just calm yourself. I've had it running in the studio and I now feel super zen as I've been recording this video. So this thing I think is around $120. It's got a pretty clean aesthetic. I know that a lot of people are kind of going crazy over this uh, little bump or ridge design. It seems to be trending in a lot of uh, architecture stuff these days. So a dope little diffuser to uh, fulfill your inner white girl if that is your jam. But that is pretty much all of the tech uh, on today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember you can win one of the items 
um, just listed um, down below in the comments. Just make sure you don't fall for the spam. Follow me on social, and I'll catch the rest of you in one of my next uh, Budget Tech episodes. Peace.